Yes, gorgeous ladies and the gentlemen that are in our presence, we're getting ready to have a conversation about perfect hair. Everybody here always struggles with their hair, and right now we're about to have a conversation with the founder, Taryn Gill of The Perfect Hair, and she'll be in conversation with our very own Beauty Squad member, Boyd's, Boyd's the boy. So ladies and gentlemen, please join us for this conversation because we are ready to give you a solution of what Perfect Hair really is, what it's about and how you can enjoy it. A great morning to you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Shalom and welcome to the Clix Beauty Squad in Convo with our very own Boyce, who will be hosting our gorgeous lady, Taryn Gill, the founder of The Perfect Hair. I don't want to say a lot. All you have to do is listen up on what our lady here is going to be sharing about Perfect Hair and so much more. It's in Convo, brought to you by Clix Beauty Playground. Ladies, over to you, boys. Thank you so much for that, Shalom. Hi, guys. My name is Boitu Malo, and I am a Clix Beauty Squad member. Um, and today, uh, we'll be having a nice, um, cute convo, basically, about hair. I love hair. I love everything hair. I love anything that has to do with hair. And I'm very honored to be um, sitting here with Taryn from the Perfect Hair family. Hi, Taryn. Hello. <laughs> Hello, ladies. There's free stuff here as well. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Come on, peeps. I got lots of free stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, Taryn, I think let's just get straight into it. We don't have much time. So, I know the Perfect Hair Family is a premium brand, you know, made up of a selection of locally made natural hair care products. So I just want to know, what inspired you to launch your own natural hair care brand? It was a complete accident. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was a marketing manager for many years in the media space. I worked in newspapers and magazines all my life, um, from about the age of 21. And I was in my late 30s when I realized that there was nothing in the supermarket or the pharma retails that was catering to my hair. Um, as a lot of you will know, um, there's just 10 years ago, think back before Clicks Calls, think back yes. before yes. before Clicks introduced us to a whole range of international, never mind local brands we came after. This lady here was the yes. first person to stock me. Sorbet Candy and Co. Whoop whoop. You know, women supporting women people. Candy was the first person to put my products in her salons. Yes. And that made all the difference. That gave me the credibility to trade online, to trade in Superbolus, um, everywhere basically. And I got into like 80 click stores and then I, a few years later, developed a venture with Sunpack and that got me into way more stores than that. So that we've seen a huge growth and expansion plan. But what, what we really were all about was just finding what works for you. And that's been the mantra always. I love that. I love that. And I love the fact that you touched on literally 10 to 11 years ago, I would have never imagined that we would have such amazing brands that literally cater to natural hair. And especially for me, when I started, there was not a lot of products to work with. And uh, speaking of Candice, actually, I walked into her salon and she was actually the first natural hair salon that I walked into. Funny she enough. was the first salon literally. I trusted to put braids in my hair. <laughs> I, <was> like, <laughs> I love that. So, speaking more on the brand, can you tell us about the two ranges in the perfect hair um, that has to offer? What are the benefits of the ingredients, etc.? So, I think we were the first brand to kind of really do stuff as natural as possible. So, what we did was we went and found a formulator in Cape Town and we said, okay, we're not taking any ingredients or formulations off the shelf. We're going to make it from scratch. And what wow. I, I didn't have money. I didn't have experience. Like I say, I was a newspaper girl. But what I did know was the people who were following my conversations on Facebook had grown to about, back when Facebook was popular, yes. about like 15,000, 20,000 people. Wow. <laughs> Back in the day, Facebook. And um, it was growing so fast. And I couldn't understand why, why was I getting... I, I didn't pay for a single advert. I just had thousands of women suddenly joining this conversation. And I realized it's important 
People want to hear what you've got to say. People want to talk about their hair, the trauma, the passion, yes. how they've experienced it over the years from school to in the workplace. And that was what inspired me to keep going. I mean, I didn't have investment. I was using my pension. So Wow, that is so inspiring. And I hope that you can inspire um, a lot of people here in the room. I love that. So, Taryn, because as a natural girl, I like to keep my curls uh, popping all the time. <laughs> and I know sometimes it's a struggle when you have like your twist outs and you have like your bunty knots. And a lot of women are like, oh, my curls didn't come out the way I wanted them to. I want you to tell me in the range, what are your top two products that are going to make sure that um, curls stay popping, they stay flourishing, you know? <laughs> okay, so type three and type four is a whole different ball game. So for <laughs> me as a type three, the Grow on the Go conditioner, which you'll find in our stand, um, is really intensive. So even if I don't wash my hair, and I don't wash my hair all the time, so even if I don't wash my hair, I just wet it thoroughly in the shower. I firmly believe in water and steam. So, you know, in the old days, they'd say, oh, God, your hair's going to go home, mm -hmm. right? If you get steam near it or if it gets wet, your hair's going to go home. It's going to shrink. It's going <laughs> to frizz. You've got to have water and steam in your daily regimen. So I never use a shower cap. I'll put my hair in a bun and yeah. my hair really likes the water from the shower. I don't have to soak it. You know, I don't like wet hair. Wet hair is very unprofessional for me. If I'm going into a meeting, I don't want wet hair on my back, yes, staining my course. jackets or something. No. Yeah. So it's just allowing that hair to get slightly damp with the steam from the shower. And that allows the hair follicle to open so you can penetrate and apply your product and have it actually soak in rather than sit on top of the hair. Mm. So my secret weapons are a really good conditioner from the Grow range. And the mango and marula leave-in styling butter sells faster than anything else I've ever made. I love that. I love that range, by the way. I use it as a type four. <laughs> Thank you so much, Taryn, for that. Thank you. Before we go, I just want you to leave us with words of wisdom when it comes to taking care of our hair, and especially because you are also a color-treated natural yeah. hair Yes, I, I got mad like with myself. color. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of naturalists just don't like to touch color, but I always say, True. you don't have to be militant to be natural. Yes, Amen. I love that. You don't have to be militant. I this is that. not a war game. This is not hunger games where you're going to get annihilated yes. for not playing straight. <laughs> you know, so just take it easy understand that you can play with your natural hair i mean i i twice a year it's not often i i blow it out just to see the length and the condition and it only lasts like a day because after that it starts mm -hmm. shrinking yes. and curling again yes. and it, it, then it goes home right it starts to frizz and it gets all mad but do whatever you do whatever you like just so I long like as that. you keep it that. healthy and strong i mean i this this color required a bit of lifting. I don't use peroxide, but I use gentler ways to lift with mm. my color. And I have a lot of fun with it. It might be green next week. I don't know. But, you know, so long as I'm making sure that I'm hydrating yes. my hair, I can apply color. I can do all kinds of shit to my hair. But, <laughs> <laughs> but so long as you're just being good to it. Like yes. you would, I always say, do to your hair what you would do to your face. Okay. That's the, that's the process. Is what, if you're going to do it to your face, do it to your hair. Be kind to it, hydrate it, keep it clean, keep your scalp healthy and unclogged. That's the key. I love that. Thank you so much to these beautiful ladies. Play with your hair, play with your beauty. That's all it's about. After all, we are here at the Beauty Playground.